Amazon is taking a stance on cannabis, supporting a U.S. bill to legalize marijuana. Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver is joining us now with more on this story. And Haley, I understand Amazon also changing employee policies around cannabis. That's right. The company says that once it's revised its policies, it's no longer going to test certain employees for cannabis consumption. The exception to that would be employees regulated by the U.S. Department of Transportation. It says it sees where things are headed in the U.S. and Amazon also actively encouraging other employers to support the legalization and decriminalization of cannabis in the United States. Are we hearing more from Jeff Bezos as to why they're changing course on this topic? What we've heard from Amazon is that really they see where this is headed in the U.S. Of course, it wouldn't be groundbreaking. It exists in many other countries here as well, and they think that it's time. So the company is also leading the change a little bit and and now it's saying to other employers, it's changing its policies ahead of what it sees as an inevitability. Got it. All right. You also have some new numbers from Stats Canada or some new data, I should say, on building permits across our country. What are we seeing? That's right. In B.C., we're seeing that residential permits issued for the month of April down by about 24 percent month to month, although up by about the same amount year over year. If we take a bit of a deeper look, more than one billion dollars in residential permits issued in the province, making up most of the permits issued for the month of April non-residential permits up by about 29% month to month. If you take an even closer look at the regional, uh, what's happening on a regional basis, you can see most of those declines concentrated in greater Vancouver and just beyond. I'll quickly highlight Victoria building permits up 48% month to month and up an amazing 116% on an annual basis. Wow, Victoria really leading the way there. Uh, Haley, thank you so much. Thanks, Sonia.